All right, welcome to Pico CTF 2021. I'm a little past the event, so I'm going to be doing these in the Pico Gym where they have all the old Pico challenges. We go through the general skills problems from Pico 2021. So our first one here is obedient cat. This flag has a file, or this file has a flag in plain sight, aka in the clear. Download the flag. Okay, so that file is a link there, so I'll just copy that link. I'm going to do these things over in their web shell. And I just wget that file. And I'll open it in VI, which is an editor. And there is my flag, Pico CTF, Sanity, blah, blah, blah. Sanity verified. And we've got five points. So now we'll move on to Python wrangling. Can we run this Python script using this password to get the flag? So we'll again copy that. wget here in the shell. All right, so apparently I need to say nd-e or -g -d in a file. So we're going to get this encrypted flag. And we'll also need this password. And so there's our password. So we'll say python ende.py dash decrypt flag.txt.en. There's my password that I copy pasted, and here is my flag. Okay, our next challenge here is wave a flag. Can you invoke help flags for a tool or binary? This program has extraordinarily helpful information. So we'll copy that link. We now have the binary, so we can just say, it says permission denied. So I'm gonna do schmod to change the permissions, plus x. To add execute permissions, I'll run warm. It says pass me dash h, and there's my flag. Pico CTF biscuits and gravy. Moving on to nice netcat. Uh, there's a nice program that you can use to talk to a binary, but it doesn't speak English. So we'll netcat. So that enables us to connect to a machine running on a particular port. So we're netcatting to Mercury, picoctf.net, and it gave us this big string of numbers. And so I'm just going to guess that these numbers are ASCII codes. That 10 looks like a new line. And I'm going to say decimal to ASCII converter. And let's see if this one's going to work well for me. Hex. Well, I have hex des ooh, decimal. Okay, so we put that in there, and it's good kitty, nice kitty. Here's our flag. Static ain't always noise. Can you look at the data in this binary? And there's a bash script that might help. So we'll go ahead and we'll wget that binary. And we'll get that bash script as well. Copy the link. All right, so let's look at what this script is going to do. So it looks like this script is going to use obj dump 
to give us information about the disassembly of the binary, and it's going to use strings to give me information about the strings in the file. So again, I will use that schmod command to make this program executable, and I'll say ltdis.sh on my static file. And it's ripped the strings. It says strings are found in static.ltdis. So let's look at that file. Static.ltdis strings. And as we read through there, we've got, oh, hi, wait, what? A flag is around here somewhere. And this looks like a flag, picoctf. This is some, so we'll copy that. All right, tab, tab, attack. Using autocomplete in the terminal will add years to my life, especially when dealing with long, rambling directory structures. Well, let's get that. And we'll unzip it. All right, so we'll just now cat hit tab a few times. It's going to get me all the way down there to fang of whatever. All right, so it looks like probably some sort of executable. So if I, instead of catting it, I run it, it gives me the flag, zap. And Magikarp ground mission. So let's see what we have here. Do we know how to move between directories? We'll need to launch an instance here. Launching. Okay, it's running. So here's my command, SSH to this. Sure. I need my password. 481E7B14. Oops. All right. So there's the beginning of my flag, Pico CTF. Copy that. And maybe I'm going to have to wait until I have the whole flag. All right, so. Throw that in a notepad so I can remember it. All right, let's see. More instructions to two of three. Go to the root of all things. So I cd to slash, there's two of three. Grab that, copy, paste, fish out of water. And let's look for the instructions to three of three. Lastly, go home. All right, so we'll cd to tilde and cat three of three. Copy. Paste. That should be our entire flag now. And we can. I just got to figure out where to put the flag now that we have it. There we go, scroll down a bit, and there is our flag.
And there we have it. Uh, that's the general skills category for PicoCTF 2021.